You won't have to struggle with CapCut application when you know how to use this animation effect in CapCut. Right, so my name is Gosui and I'm a founder of Serene Arts. Serene Arts is a smartphone creativity firm where we teach you how to become creative with your smartphone. So if you like what we do on this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and stay tuned. In today's tutorial, I'll be taking you through step by step how to use this animation effects in CapCut to maximize the performance of your video. So without further ado, let's jump into it. We are now in CapCut application. So once we've imported our video that we are going to edit, the first thing that we have to do to start with the animation process is to tap on a video layer and it will be highlighted like this. Once this is done, we can now start by using the keyframe animation. Right, this is it and that's what we are going to use. Once we select the keyframe animation, the next thing that we have to use is the graphs at the corner over here. So first off, let's go ahead and select the keyframe animation. But before you select the keyframe animation, you must first of all determine the position where you want to animate. Okay, so in my case, I want to animate, let's say this part. So I'll tap on a keyframe animation and I'll increase the size of my video layer meaning when the video layer got to this place it will increase like this now I want this part to be minimized so I'll tap on this and bring back the video like this so you see this now it has come up like this you see this it has come up like this now we can also add another keyframe over here once you add a keyframe you can bring the video back or even bring it way down something like this it depends on what you want actually all right so let's say i have it like this now let me play it quickly for you to see now you see the effect this is just a basic effect now what can we do right what can we do we can go to the graphs and add some effect to it. So before you move to the graphs, make sure be watching this area, okay? Make sure the keyframe turn red. The keyframe on which you want to add the effect, make sure it turn red. So I want to, in my case, I want to add a keyframe. I want to add a graph effects on a keyframe that actually shows my face like this. So now I'll tap on a graph and once it loads, then there are several varieties of the graphs over here that I can select from. Now let's assume I'm selecting from flow one. This is how it's going to appear. But still, I can still tap on this and edit it in my own way. So let's say I want something like this. Like this. Now the good thing over here is that you can also add your beats. So you just tap over here, add beats, then you can manipulate all this over here you understand it's very very simple so i'm going to add like four bits over here and i'm going to bring this down i just want the video to go back and forth when it reach that point so look at it you understand so once i'm done with this and i'm okay with this i'll tap on a check mark and when i'm playing the video and it got to that particular point it will turn to like kind of vibrate or go back and forth so let's see good that is it just happened over here now if you want a different animation to appear on this keyframe i mean the third keyframe over here you do the same thing all right you do the same thing make sure the keyframe is selected and you go to the graphs and you do it that way as it is being selected over here you can go ahead and add effect to it now i think let me add it to the first one over here the first keyframe you can add a customized keyframe just tap on it then edit it let's say i want to add like two bits over here so that gives it some move now let me just change this one is down, one is up. So it kind of bring, look at this. Good. 
So basically, this is what I want you to note right now. The use of the keyframe and the graph, which is added down over here. And you can only have access to these things when you select the video layer. Without selecting the video layer, you cannot have access to the keyframe. Now, let's, let's assume you've done this and you don't like it. You want to take it off. Just come and tap on the keyframe over here as it indicates the negative sign over there. But before it will indicate a negative sign, a keyframe must be selected. Let's assume the keyframe is not selected. It will indicate a positive sign, meaning you can add. But if a keyframe is selected, it indicates negative. So you can just tap on it and you remove the keyframe. It is as simple as that. All right, so that's going to be it for this tutorial. And I hope you do find something helpful from this tutorial. If you do, go ahead and hit that like button on the video. And also subscribe and turn on notifications for this particular channel. And I hope to see you in the next one. Let's up.